Hey, what it is? Just thought I should provide a different scenery. Had my short on this time around. <sighs> Accountability series. Let's talk about wellness. I was wellness today. <laughs> my will was weak. Did not go to gym, you know? It was one of those days where it's like, ideally, now, let's just say you have your ideals, now. There's the ideal right here, now. And then there's the likelihood of what it is that you're going to do now. <sighs> How far and wide it was. Ideally, yes, I should go to gym. Truth of the matter, no. Nah, I should just rest. Even caught this idea where I was like, yeah, let me just treat this like a lazy Sunday, but be productive. Because clearly, I was kind of productive on a lazy Sunday, but this will give me a whole lot more yeah, a whole lot more leverage, you know, switching up the mind state. Did that happen? Mm, kind of, kind of not. It's debatable. To be honest, I just noticed. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'm just doing this thing that I usually do nah? on such days. It's simple. This is what happens nah? most days. As I've noticed the past couple of days, this is what happens. No. Nah? Alright, cool. Besides for posting the video. Um, yeah, I maintain a certain level of daily tasks. I right, cool. Posting the video. Mm, yeah, and reading through the documentation. You know, from the Odin Project. And then I right, cool. Listening to an exercise or so. Or revising some of my work. And as of late, I've been working on Estolo. Well, let me just say Estolo's been popping up. So I've been working on it unintentionally because clearly I built the system and systems do enroach. So I've noticed like, I right, cool, that's what I do on a regular. And that should probably be my schedule <laughs> so that I can see it through and not switch it up. But then obviously this is the likelihood of what's going to happen. And then there's the ideal. So gradually I'm picking up now. Nah? I'm picking up these habits. I'm picking up this new sense of work ethic now. But yeah, there's the ideal of the work that I should do. And the nature of my being and how my life is set up, <coughs> you know, kind of provides some sort of contradiction that I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get there. <laughs> or I will get there, but then I'll backtrack because it's a... I'm fighting, you know, and it's pushing me back. <coughs> Pardon me. My sinuses are just off the hinges. So, yeah. So, that's the chat in terms of that wellness. I think I'll just mix it up with the coding series right now. Because it's so interrelated. Mm -hmm. But let's just continue talking about my well-being. I didn't stretch today. I was supposed to stretch. It's Tuesday. But clearly, because I had this idea of going to gym... Somewhere along the lines in my corp, forgot about stretching. You see, this is what happens when you start to switch things up. And I just noticed right now, as I'm speaking. So yeah, where we at? Where we at? Um, <clears throat> that's what's up, really. So in terms of my well-being, would I say that I'm motivated? Nah. I'm I'm a, I'm in a very thankful state, I'm a progressive state, and yeah, I've learned to come to grips with reality and not just ideal. Cause living life according to ideals is one thing, but living life according to reality and the likelihood of how things are gonna go and making the best of that is a different thing. Cause sometimes when you can't fulfill these expectations and ideals, then yeah, I, it kind of bruises the ego, as I've learned from JavaScript. But as of late, I'm like, okay, cool. You know what? It's cool. We got this on lock. Like, it's progressive. It's progressive. Like, I understand, you know? And I can see it becoming... Yeah, like, uh, like the consistency is deepening. Probably a little deeper than Jim. <laughs> You know, which it wasn't at first, you know, but now it is because, look, I'm starting to dream about code. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to dream about these problems and solving them. 
I've even started dreaming about the working environment. So, you know, it, things are paying off. Not by the amount of work that I'm doing. Obviously, that pays off. But by my relationship with myself and making sure that I respect myself, you know, and I actually make an effort to understand how much work can you do? How can we approach doing work? We'll talk about the load later, but how can we get consistency? How can we get the right state of mind? How can we make you feel not really good per se, because good is, you're going to be frustrated, definitely, but how can we make sure that you don't end up hating yourself? So I'm glad that I've addressed that question, you know, and it's really paying off. It's really paying off, you know. So with that being said, I'm just going to continue within this route. And I guess now I'm learning a value-based approach of doing things. So I guess also with business, it'll seep into that the day I actually decide, yo, actually, actually let me just take a deload week from programming and just really focus on these stolo and like, okay, build the system holistically for this specific store, Beauty Bonanza, so that at least by the time we're done with this quarter, I know I right, call cool. next month, not next month, but like next year, this is who we're selling it to. This is the chat. This is what's going to pop. You feel me? So, yeah. Mm hmm. I guess this is a good way of. Yeah, this is a good way of looking at things, because one thing is inevitable. Nah. I've I've done it all, you know. I've shown dedication to the game. I've worked hard. I've ran the streets. I've worked for free. I've given back. You know what I'm saying to niggas that ask me about this and that. You know, you feel me? Like I've really made effort holistically. You feel me? So right now I'm just like, okay, cool. That's inevitable. I'm gonna do it again, but my approach needs to make sense from a social standpoint, and at least socially, internally, it makes sense. I'm fulfilling what it is that I need internally, which I didn't. I didn't. I really didn't throughout my teens. Now that I think about it, I didn't, you know? I was pretty... Like, people think that, yeah, yeah, yeah icon, yeah, Uncle Sana knows everybody, you know? But it's, like, relative to your world and, like, but, like, I wasn't social. Like, there's a lot that I left on the table in terms of being social, in terms of doing work in that regard. You feel me? And obviously entering the game now is, like, I really want to do the social thing for the better and for the best and really understand. But let me just say, and really execute this value-based approach first and foremost so i'm really glad to see how it's affecting myself and my relation i can't wait to establish a sense of sustainability or self-sufficient self-sustainability or whatever or independence full independence within the right terms that i want not the hustle terms and then yeah I'll be glad. Um, so, I right, cool. That's wellness. Yeah, I've been in an it mood. Usual tiredness, usual frustration, usual happiness. You know, the world is opening up and I'm like, all right, cool. I see it. Cool. Um, obviously, I'm overwhelmed at times. Neuroticism is a norm. Um, but <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful and I'm glad. Okay, cool. What about the self-taught developer part? Self-taught developer part. Let me just make it. Nah, let me just make it in this video. It's been good. It's been good. You know, just still going through functions. Didn't understand what callback is about. Callback functions is about. But I was like, all right, cool, whatever. Let me just continue. And yeah, it's really... Yeah, it's at a granular point in terms of the explanations and the articles that they give, but I'm glad we're getting to problem solving, right, on the Odin project, and I really like that. I'm really happy about that because I think this will be 
the missing puzzle of the piece when it comes to the algorithm part of free code camps javascript data data and algorithms <laughs> yeah so that's cool 